God TV dispute has Israel talking about messianic Jews. An evangelical broadcaster who boosted of miraculously securing a TV license in Israel now risks being taken off the air over suspicions of trying to convert Jews to Christianity. The controversy over God TV has put both Israel and its evangelical supporters in an awkward position, exposing tension the two sides have long papered over. Evangelicals, particularly in the United States, are among the strongest supporters of Israel, viewing it as the fulfillment of biblical prophecy, with some seeing it as the harbinger of a second coming of Jesus Christ and the end of days. Israel has long welcomed evangelicals' political and financial support, especially as their influence over the White House has risen during the Trump era, and it has largely shrugged off concerns about any hidden religious agenda. But most Jews view any effort to convert them to Christianity as deeply offensive, a legacy of centuries of persecution and forced conversion at the hands of Christian rulers in part because of those sensitivities, evangelicals who believe salvation can only come through Jesus and preach the gospel worldwide rarely target Jews. When God TV, an international Christian broadcaster, reached a seven-year contract earlier this year with HOT, Israel's main cable provider, it presented itself as producing content for Christians. But in a video message that has since been taken down, God TV CEO Ward Simpson suggested its real aim was to convince Jews to accept Jesus as their Messiah. The channel known as Shalem broadcasts in Hebrew even though most Christians in the Holy Land speak Arabic. God has supernaturally opened the door for us to take the gospel of Jesus into the homes and lives and hearts of his Jewish people, Simpson said in the video. They will watch secretly. They will watch quietly, he added. God is restoring his people. God is removing the blindness from their eyes. In a subsequent video, Simpson acknowledged that the channel was under investigation by Israeli authorities, saying that the preaching about Jesus in Israel is a very touchy subject. He apologized for any offensive remarks and said God TV would comply with all regulations. Freedom of religion is enshrined in Israeli law and proselytizing is allowed as long as missionary activities are not directed at minors and do not involve economic coercion. The communications ministry said it was investigating a discrepancy between the application for the license that was granted in March, which said the channel was focused on the Christian community and its actual content, which appears to target Jews and convince them that Jesus is the Messiah. Hot said in a statement that it was not responsible for the channel's content and has been fully transparent with authorities. Hot TV was funded in the UK in 1995 and eventually grew into a 24-hour network with offices in several countries. Its international broadcasting licenses are held by a Florida-based nonprofit. It claims to reach 300 million households worldwide. Simpson was among the participants at High Level Christian Media Summit hosted by Israel last year, where Harez reports he introduced Israeli President Reuven Rivlin. Simpson denied trying to convert Jews to Christianity. He said Jews who accept Jesus as the Messiah can continue to practice their faith and reference to Messianic Jews. The Messianic movement, which emerged in its modern form in the 1970s, incorporates Jewish symbols and practices, including referring to Jesus by his Hebrew name Yeshua, but is widely seen as a form of Christianity. All major Jewish denominations reject it, and Israel considers Messianic Jews to be converted to another faith. Messianic Jews, Israel, pushed back against the accusations. In Israel and in Jewish circles, conversion is a loaded word. It is understood as leaving something to become something else, said Lisa Loden, co-heir of the Louisiana Initiative for Reconciliation in Israel-Palestine. 
Messianic Jews avoid the term and maintain that they remain fully Jewish when accepting Yeshua as Messiah and Lord, she said. But the average Jewish Israeli does not distinguish between Jews who believe in Jesus and Christians. God TV's new Hebrew channel surprised many of us Israeli believers, said Dan Sered, the Tel Aviv best chief operating officer of Jews for Jesus. It is my hope that the opposition Shalenu is getting will be met with reason as it goes to the courts.